my name is Ella aka Ifeki and in today's video I am starting a new thing. Even though I have some big projects in the works, I really want to share more of my everyday art. So I'm going to make weekly videos like this one where I just show the process of whatever pieces I've finished and anything else remotely interesting that happens to me because most of the time I'm just sitting at my computer doing whatever, being on school calls. Hopefully you will enjoy this video and I'll see you at the end. Usually I keep a journal with what I do every day just so I can note the passage of time but because I lost my journal at the beginning of the week, it's very hazy. Um, Sunday, February 7th, I did go up to my grandparents and sat with them in their yard for a bit. We also went and checked out these amazing little trails they have, basically in their backyard. And it's so cool because I don't know if they like blow the trail or something, but there's no leaves or anything and no mulch, so the whole ground is just covered in moss and it's just so magical looking. So, I don't remember many details, but this is pretty much what the rest of my week looked like. Just doing things for school, sitting at my desk. Things I do remember include eating a lot of muffins. I went on a walk with my mom. After not leaving the house for a week, I made some vegan chicken with rice and peas, which was really good. My sister left for college again, so I now have free access to her espresso maker. I don't know what just happened with my espresso maker, but it was really weird that the water wouldn't come out, and then when I finally got it to come out, it was like really watery. So this coffee is not as good as usual, but it's still pretty good. I guess I'll just add more instant coffee to make up for the bad espresso. Alright, so, um, I think it was Wednesday that I started this piece, and as you can see, we're starting out with a regular old time lapse because I was not getting a good angle to start, but I started off just wanting to draw something colorful, so I sketched in some fruit, and I wanted to do something different, so I was like, okay, what if it's the fruit is underwater, like in a pond? So I casually started calling this piece Fruity River, which is... <laughs> it sounds really dumb, but it's stuck, so I guess that's what it's called now. Um, I did it in Procreate, as you might recognize, using my Apple Pencil. So here I decided that the composition really needed something else, so I decided to add a lily pad. And I think it worked really well because it actually also helped emphasize the surface of the water. And during this time lapse, you can see where I start to experiment with how the water distorts shape as it refracts, um, which was really fun to play with. I haven't drawn or painted water very much before, and it's really hard, but I think it was a good thing to study. Um, I looked at a couple reference photos just to see sort of the way that reflections work a little more. So yeah, I would totally recommend. Here you can see I add a translucent layer for the reflection, um, sort of to look like sky and shadows from leaves reflected in the water and I think that's where it really started to look more like actual water which was very exciting because you know it's something new for me and it's good to try new things.
also one of the things that really helped bring the piece together. You can see here I start to add reflections for the leaves and also, I added one for the branch of the pomegranates. So I actually redid the seeds of the pomegranate multiple times because the first time I drew it, I felt like it looked really flat when I wanted it to look like the curve of the seeds, but just with the first layer of the skin peeled off. And I think in the end, redrawing that really made it look more 3D. Here I add a little frog hiding in the depths. He sort of distracts your eye, but it's cute. And I also added some sparkly highlights, and then it was done. I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and I might actually make prints of it. We'll see. I definitely drink a lot of tea this week, as I always do every week. Um, this was lemon ginger, I'm pretty sure, which is really good. You should check it out. Oh, and that was my lunch on Saturday, which was also very good. So then I had a little assignment for Latin class because we normally decorate the classroom with Latin Valentine's Day posters. Our teacher asked us to make us something to decorate our virtual classroom. So I decided to draw some of those little candied hearts, but instead of the usual English Valentine's Day phrases, I added them in Latin instead. So here I'm adding the Latin phrases. The top one says, you're my sweetheart. The blue one says, be mine. And the orange one says, I love you. So for the background, I decided I just wanted to make them lean up against uh, the packaging box that the candy hearts usually come in. So I sort of traced on top of that just for a simple background that fits the painting a bit more than having the image there. And then after a few more little things, it was done. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. I'm gonna paint these bird houses. Okay, I'm gonna get myself some cheese. Do we have any music? 
cannot handle. They have earrings and two masks, and they're gonna they're gonna crack in half one day. I'm really scared. Yes, because they're so small. So I saw someone who like tweeted about their terrible looking macarons, and I thought that they were ears at first, and that gave me the idea. I want to make ear-shaped macarons with red stuff inside, so it looks like Van Gogh's ears with the blood, like it's been cut off. Like finally cut.
finally, after a lot of painting, I was done. I think this was a super fun project. Uh, thanks to one of my friends for getting these for us to paint. It was so fun because I wasn't doing it for an assignment. I was just making art for myself. So once we finished, I just gave them a good spray and we're planning on hanging them up at our school. And then another cool thing that happened on Valentine's Day was my aunt came by and dropped off a bunch of candy and stuff. Oh, and this beautiful plant because she's a teacher and she gets a lot of gifts she doesn't need. All right, so that was a little bit of my week. Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of the video and there will be more cool stuff to come. So please make sure to subscribe if you want to check that out as well. And thank you so much for being here. We're doing awesome. The world is a very scary place right now, so I really hope that everyone is staying safe and that you're doing okay. And yeah, you can click the link in the description if you'd like to check out my Instagram. And if you want to talk to me about something, please leave a comment and let me know what you thought of this video. Hope to see you soon. Bye!